Hi everyone, this is Tim Thiessen for EucreMedia.com, and I wanted to introduce you to a script available exclusively at EucreMedia called Bouncer. On everyone's list of their favorite expressions is the overshoot and bounce back expressions created by Dan Eberts on his MotionScript.com site. And if you're like me, you have a text file with both of them in it, so you can copy and paste onto any property you need. There is no argument to the usefulness of these expressions. However, they are a bit cumbersome to apply and require you to delve into the expression to adjust any of the parameters. I've used them for years, but I've always thought there had to be a better way. So I came up with Bouncer. It's a dockable script for After Effects that allows you to apply an overshoot or bounce back expression to the selected properties and a controller effect to the selected layers allowing you to quickly adjust the parameters. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use Bouncer. First of all, you need to install the script, a .jsx bin file that you place in the script UI panels folder on your version of After Effects. You will also need to make sure the preference Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Networks is turned on. After you install the script, open up After Effects, Launch the script Bouncer from the window menu. This brings up the script UI, which you can dock into any panel you like. The interface is rather simple. There is a logo, which is a button for the About menu. You can get a brief overview, and it gives you a choice to have your script alert either as an alert window that you have to click out of, or as a line written into your info panel. I find that if I'm using the script a lot, it gets cumbersome to keep clicking OK, so that's why there's an option of getting an alert in the info panel. Back to the script UI. You can see there is a drop down list containing all the properties you can add the expression to. There's position, scale, rotation, and finally selected properties. The first three allow you to add the expression only to the chosen property. If you have a bunch of layers that you just want to bounce the position, scale, or rotation, you can add the expression to them very quickly. There is also a selected properties, and this allows you to add the expression to any of the selected properties that can take expressions. This is really useful for any shape layers adding bounce to individual elements inside the shape layer. There is a second drop down list where you can choose either an overshoot or bounce back expression. The overshoot is like a pendulum swing back and forth, the bounce back is like bouncing a ball on the floor. Once you have applied either expression to the layer selected, you will have a controller. Overshoot has amplitude, frequency, and decay. For overshoot, I like to keep the frequency at 2 and the decay at 4, and only adjust the amplitude to suit my need. The bounce back has elasticity, gravity, and max bounces. I find that the gravity and the elasticity are the things I need to adjust in the bounce back controller and it really depends on the incoming speed of the property, so you may need to adjust one or the other or both. And that's it. It's a simple little script that I hope you find useful in your everyday workflow. Thanks for watching.